Hi everybody and welcome back to the Ken's Log channel. Today I'm redoing a video I've already done in the past but I'm going to use uh, a more modern TV and uh, maybe a little bit more modern DVD player. Maybe it's the same one, I don't remember. Um, but uh, uh, you know, better video, better audio, not so shaking all around and everything, but how to hook up your N64. All the different ways you can do that. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and add on some uh, you know, other things you do with your N64 that maybe, you know, you just need a refresher on or you had no idea about in the first place. So what I'm going to start out with is the very basic way most people are going to hook up their N64. And, uh, you know, that's just with the basic stuff that the N64 came with. Uh, and then just to a basic television. So first of all, you need to have power to your television. And in today's televisions, everything seems to be ran through an adapter. So Go ahead and plug in your television. All right, step number two, I want to go ahead and get the uh, N64 hooked up. Um, so just your basic uh, Nintendo adapter. Uh, this works for the Super Nintendo, GameCube, and the Super, or the N64. So use your basic composite adapter, or RCA adapter, whatever you want to call it. I think on these uh, newer TVs it's called composite. So go ahead and hook this here right into the back of your N64 here. Okay. And then these ends are going to go to the back of your TV. And it's pretty self explanatory back there yellow, red, white. So go ahead and go to the back of your television. Locate the red, white, and yellow. And this one is yellow, white, red. So you just match up the colors and plug it in. Go ahead and plug the power supply into the N64. This is what your N64 power supply looks like. Okay. Grab your N64. Plug in the supply just like that and it should click in to where you can't pull it out. And in order to unplug the power supply, there's a press button right here. You just pull it right out. Okay. Once you have that plugged into the back of the N64, go ahead and plug this into your outlet, or in our case, extension cord. Okay, and something you might want to do if you haven't played your N64 for a while, just open up the top here and make sure there's nothing in there. That, you know, nothing's going to block these pins. Because maybe you'll just stick a game in there and there's a, like a toothpick fell in there somehow. It's going to ruin your game system. So just look in there. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and plug in a controller. And of course your controller ports are right here. One, two, three, four. And this would be the first controller port, so make sure you have one in there. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on our uh, TV. Okay. My TV works. It shows me up in the corner here. Tip that back a little bit what it's on. So on this one I need to go on video one. You see my remote there. Go to video one and then see this one calls it composite. Okay, okay. Um, I actually had to switch out my N64 uh, was having a little problem with the other one but now that you have everything hooked up in the back go ahead and put your game in Turn on the power. And voila. We're playing in 64 already. Alright, so that's the most basic way that you're going to hook up your N64. Um, now, I'm 
going to go into some other ways you can do it. Uh, but if that video was helpful to you, uh, like it and uh, subscribe if you like my channel. And uh, come back for uh, other videos. Otherwise, continue watching. Um, so we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on. not going to hurt anything. But uh, we're going to hook this up a different way. Let's say that uh, you bought a used N64 and it came with a cord that looks like this. Uh, it's got all these different attached or you know adapters and plugs and all this other stuff. But it's just like that other plug we just used. You know, it's the red, white, and uh, yellow. So you just plug in the red, white, and yellow. But then on the other end, you have a hookup for Xbox 360, Xbox, all the Playstations, and then the GameCube N64 Super NES hookup. Um, so you just use that one. Go ahead and plug that into the back of your N64 here. Just like that. Leave those other ones just hanging there. And then plug these into the back of the TV just like you have the other ones. Yellow. came with came right after the Super Nintendo which still used either that AV cable the Nintendo AV cable for composite um, or it could still use the RF adapter now some people that upgraded to the N64 you know they didn't have the new fangled TVs that could handle the RCA so they made an adapter and it looks like this right here and you put your RF right there, this part here, connects here, okay? And then you just put it on channel 3, I'm assuming. Um, I'm pretty sure it's channel 3, but I don't think there's a channel selector on here yet. Uh, so go ahead and take this part right here, the adapter, plug it into the back of the N64, and... Uh, now, amazingly enough, this doesn't work for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> that adapter doesn't. Um, but uh, it, it has the connection for the other one. But sometimes a singular component of that video can go out. So, and you all know what to do with this. I'm going to put a picture up there. Hook it up to the coaxial part of your television. make sure that it's tight in the back there make sure the connection is tight I know some of these some TVs are very very difficult to do that with now we got a no signal because we're on the wrong signal anyway we need to go to TV and we need to go to channel Easy peasy, easy peasy. Now, I know there's some TVs out there that you can't use um, this connection. You just can't use this connection. Oh, there's also S-Video if you just want to use S-Video. Um, but some TVs, the newer TVs, will not accept this uh Sort of digital, sort of analog connection. Um, well, I guess it's more analog than digital in the But, uh, yeah, some TVs won't accept it. So, as I always tell my viewers, you're going to have to hook it up through a DVD or a VCR or a Blu-ray player uh, in order to play it. And uh, let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay. So, I've got my DVD slash VCR player all set up there and uh, I haven't plugged it in the back of the computer and I have it set up by cable see this picture here and here's the other end and here's where you're gonna want to put it 
in the back of the TV into the coaxial. So go ahead and spin your TV around, plug in your DVD VCR player. If this is how you have yours hooked up. Okay, now that you can confirm that you got your DVD hooked up like that, I'm going to spin your TV back around or come back to the front. And let's make sure we're getting a signal. Uh, I'm going to turn this on. We're going to go over to video. Well, you know what you normally have to do with these things. So if your signal doesn't come up, normally you have to put a tape in and then you switch over. See how it switched over there? We don't want to watch that. But anyway, now you know your signal is going through your VCR slash DVD player. And what you do is you hook it up exactly the same way, but uh, uh, with the last way we just did it with the adapter, what you would do, instead of plugging this into the back of the TV, you're going to put it right here. So go ahead and plug it into the back of the DVD player there. Um, and I just remembered something with my DVD player. On the coaxial side, it only works with the VCR. I just remembered that. Uh, I don't know why that is. And then only the, the original component side um, only works with the DVD player too. Very weird. But you go ahead and get that plug, uh, the RF adapter plugged into the back of the DVD player. And then plug your adapter into the back of the N64, just like that. That was going to automatically change, huh? No, that's not how it works. What you have to do is you have to change your VCR channel to channel 3. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. There you go. See how that works? This has to be on channel 3. You have the N64 is the incoming or the antenna in into the back of your DVD player. And then uh, the out goes to the back of the TV, just like that. Now let's say you were using the other connection. You know, either this one this connection here, or the original Nintendo connection. Let's hook it up that way. You know, either this type with the, all the adapters, or the Nintendo adapter itself. Um, what you would do in this case, mine has a front. Access for, and I think this one's video too, actually I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, yeah, it actually says line two. So, Go ahead and match up the colors here. Yellow, white, red. Look at that. Auto changing to audio fronts. And now, once we plug this in, I got a smart VCR. I like that. Once we plug this in, there we go. Catch music. Uh, and then I'll just show you one last time with the original adapter too. Um, but then there's, you know, there's the other way of hooking up your VCR too. Let's show you that real quick. Okay, let's say your uh, DVD player is hooked up like this. In the back of the TV, it's hooked up to the uh, uh, composites. And then in the back of the uh, DVD player is hooked up to the composites too. You know, what do I set my TV on? Well. You would set it on your video. See? Now it's picking up the signal. Uh, and then you would hook up your N64 like you have been. You know, whichever of the three ways. And I'll show you this with the original adapter. Plug it in to the back 
the N64. And then this part can either go into line one in the back right here, or it can go to line two in the front right here. Uh, and we'll just show you line two. <laughs> all the ways you can hook up your uh, N64. And, uh, what I wanted to show you now is some of the different attachments that come with the N64. Uh, you have all of these. You have your rumble pack, which uh, basically makes your controller shake. You just hook it up, plug it right into your controller. Make sure you have batteries in it. I think it takes two AAAs, yeah. Two AAAs, and then you have the rumble feature on your uh, N64. Uh, this is a memory card, a uh, standard memory card. Um, holds a pretty small amount of data, but a uh, memory card nonetheless. Just slips right into the back of the controller just like that. And there's your release, pull it out. And then this is an aftermarket memory card by Performance. Uh, and actually it's four times the amount and has four slots which you choose um, and that just plugs right into the back of the uh, controller as well just like that and then the last thing that uh, I have that can go into the controller is actually a transfer pack and this was pretty much solely made if I remember right for Pokemon so if you had Pokemon Stadium uh, for the N64 you could transfer your Pokemon uh, to your Pokemon Yellow or Silver or Gold or whatever it was, you know, at the time. And I think it was Silver and Gold uh, at the time. But it just goes in like that. And then you actually put your Pokemon game. Let's say this is it. But it's not, you know, it's Tetris. But that's where you put your Pokemon game and transfer over the files. Just like that. And then you plug in the... Uh, Pokemon game into the N64 and you could, you know, transfer files that way. So that's a file transfer. And then the last accessory that I have for the N64 is the Game Shark. Um, picked that up along with a lot of other stuff. And I've never tried it, so let's try it. So what you do is you take your game, put it on top of the Game Shark, just like you're plugging it into the console. Just like that. Put the game shark in. Turn it on. Ooh, it's not doing anything. <laughs> huh. Well, maybe it doesn't work with that game. We're gonna go get a more common game. Okay, uh, let's try it with Madden 2000, see what we're trying. Pretty popular game. There we go. Yeah, so that's how you'd run a Game Shark uh, if you have one of those. The last thing to show you before I get off of here is uh, how to change out your RAM expansion. Uh, for some of the more uh, graphically engaging games, you need a RAM expander. And uh, this is an aftermarket one, but Nintendo has one too. Either or, you're getting the same thing. But uh, go ahead and make sure the power is out of the N64. Okay, pull that out of there. And then uh, take the top off here. And then I always use a butter knife, but the actual tool comes with one of these if you buy it brand new. Uh, and just go right here. Just slowly pry that out of there, just like that. Easy cheesy. Put the new one in. These only go in one way, so you can't really screw it up. But that one's in, just like that. 
Now you can play the more graphically advanced games on your N64. Uh, but that's it. I hope you guys found this tutorial exciting and invigorating, or at least uh, informative. Um, I uh, enjoy doing these types of videos, so if you like the video, please give me a like, and if you like my channel, subscribe. Uh, if you need any video games or anything like that, check out my Amazon store, and uh, you might find something you like. Talk to you guys later. Bye.